London, Alfie Evans, a British toddler with a degenerative brain condition whose parents lost a legal battle to keep him on life support at a Vatican hospital, was mourned with balloons set free in the sky and prayers from the Pope after he died Saturday weeks shy of his second birthday. Kate James and Tom Evans said their son's death overnight in Liverpool, England had left them heartbroken, Alfie's condition left him with almost no brain function, and multiple courts ruled that keeping him alive was not in his best interests before doctors removed his ventilator five days ago. My gladiator laid down his shield and gained his wings at 2.30, Evans, 21, wrote in a Facebook post decorated with a broken heart and crying emojis. As news spread in the community, dozens of people laid flowers and mementos in a park near Alderhay Children's Hospital in Liverpool, where Alfie was treated. About 1,000 people gathered 12 hours after the boy died to release blue and purple balloons in solidarity with the grieving mother and father who had struggled to come to terms with their child's terminal illness. James, 20, posted a message on social media thanking everyone who supported the family through Alfie's illness and court fight. Alfie's case sparked a medical ethics debate that resonated far beyond Britain. Doctors overseeing his care said further treatment was futile and he should be allowed to die. But his parents fought for months to try to convince judges to allow them to take him to the Vatican's Children's Hospital, where life support would have been maintained. Under British law, courts are asked to intervene when parents and doctors disagree on the right course of treatment for a child. In such cases, the rights of the child take primacy over the parents' right to decide what's best for their daughters and sons. Pope Francis, who met with Evans and publicly supported the parents' campaign to bring Alfie to Bambino Jesu Hospital, wrote condolences that were posted Saturday on Twitter. I am deeply moved by the death of little Alfie, Francis said. Today I pray especially for his parents, as God the Father receives him in his tender embrace. Italy granted Alfie citizenship and put a military plane on standby to transport him to Rome, if the courts allowed it. Goodbye, little Alfie. We love you, Italian Foreign Minister Angelino Alfano tweeted Saturday. Tensions between the toddler's parents and the hospital had eased in recent days. Evans, who earlier said doctors were wrong about Alfie's prognosis and threatened to resume the court battle over his care, pledged to work with hospital staff to give his son dignity and comfort in his final days. Our lives have been turned upside down by the intense focus on Alfie and his situation, Evans said Thursday outside the Liverpool hospital. He thanked the hospital staff for their dignity and professionalism during what must be an incredibly difficult time for them too. Aldar Hay issued a statement to express heartfelt sympathy and condolences to Alfie's family. All of us feel deeply for Alfie, Kate, Tom and his whole family and our thoughts are with them, the hospital said. This has been a devastating journey for them, and we would ask that their privacy and the privacy of staff at Aldar Hay is respected. Alfie's case received widespread attention outside Britain, especially in predominantly Catholic countries. Francis recently appealed for the wishes of the boy's parents to be heeded, saying only God can decide who dies. Officials in Poland and Italy criticized Britain's courts and state-run National Health Service. A leading right-wing politician in Italy, Veneta Gov. Luca Zaya, said that in Alfie, the so-called civilized world has supplied the latest proof of enormous incivility. Supporters of the parents staged angry protests regularly outside the hospital and tried to storm the entrance at times. Aldarhe asked for tributes to Alfie to be left in a park next door so the hospital's work wasn't disrupted. I am deeply moved by the death of little Alfie. Today I pray especially for his parents, as God the Father receives him in his tender embrace. Pope Francis, at Pontifex, April 28, 2018 We'd like to pass on our sincere thoughts and condolences to Tom, Kate and their families for their sad loss following the death of their son Alfie Evans. We also pass our thoughts to those at the hospital who supported the family in caring for Alfie. May Alfie rest peacefully, Merseyside Police, at Mersey Police, April 28, 2018.